Hi everyone, it's the Army Gamer, and welcome for this new Blender tutorial. Today, you guys will be learning how to model this card that you see right here, and how to render it. It's very easy, it's fairly simple, it's only out of a cube, adding a few wheels, and some materials. So if you're into Blender, that is okay, this is just perfect. So let's begin. So this is the scene, it's only my car and a camera, and for the lighting, I've used environment lighting. So let's go ahead. So I'll make a new scene. So here I have my new scene. When you open up Blender, everything should look like this. What I'll first do is delete my light. So right click on your light and then press delete. Now select your cube by right clicking on it and then pressing S, Z and then enter 0.5. So now we've scaled our cube by minus, well we've scaled on its Z axis by um, 50% which is um, half of its uh, width. So now what we'll do is S, Y, 2. So this is will be the width of our car. Now let's go in edit mode. So press tab to go in edit mode. Then press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts. And then add loop cuts on this side. And then with your mouse wheel, dr um, make the number of, of cuts to 2. And then right uh, left click to make the balance. Now let's switch to face selection mode. Down here in this panel, you can have vertex, edge, and face selection. And then, in, in this case, click face selection. Select your top face here. Press E, and then um, 1. And then with the Z, X, D, which is blue arrow, you can just redimension it so that it, it looks great. Now let's go in edge selection, and then select those two edges right here. Press S, and then X, and scale it down about that much. So we're already getting the shape of our car. That is great. Now let's just shorten the back of our car to make to say that it's the back of our car. Then select, uh, well, go switch to face selection. Select your back part, uh, well, your back face, and then with uh, the green arrow, just drag it back. So here we go. Now let's add some materials to our car to make it more vivid. So what I'll do is first adding material, but before doing anything, we need to drag this menu up, expand this menu. So click on it and drag it up, expand it. Now click on this ball icon, and this is the material section. So you should have a material already created, which is just plain white. I want my car to be red, so what I'll do is click here under this diffuse. So now you should have this appearing. You can it around the color. Are you going to use the red, green, and blue values to make your color? I'll just use this um, palette up here. So here I have a quite red color. Now what I'll do is go in edit mode, add the windows, the material for the windows. What I'll do is select this windshield, hold shift, and select my um, left and right windows. Once you have those windows selected, we'll click this little plus icon and then click new and then under diffuse give it a blue color and then click assign so now we have our windows ready now let's add the wheels so shift a add mesh and then cylinder then press r y 90 degree so we rotate our cylinder 90 degrees now press s sorry s x and then thin them up a little bit to make our wheels a little bit more realistic and then s just press S and scale it down so that it looks better again so now you can position them in the front part now let's duplicate our wheels I'm just going to adjust them a little bit so now let's duplicate our wheels so shift D and then you can move them where you want and then now let's duplicate them again so I hold shift and select my other wheel and then I'll do shift D and then I'll put them to the other side which is right here so now let's add the material for our wheels select one of your wheels click new and then under the diffuse give it a black color now let's add the same material to all of our wheels so what we can do is select a wheel Click this little icon on the right of on the left of new, and then click your here again, and then do the same thing for all of the other wheels. Whoop. So now let's add the headlights 
Okay? So what we will do is Shift A, add Mesh Q, and then S, Y, and then um, like this. Then you can scale them up to make everything look fine. Or down. So then you can position them so they look fine. So here it looks pretty great. Now I'll duplicate it and put it here. Now let's add the material for our headlights. Click New to add a new material, click under Diffuse and give it a yellow color or the color you want. Now with the other headlight I'll just take my same yellow material. So now I'll add some the same headlights but to the back of my car so they can be like the backlights. You could change the color of them but I'll just let them yellow. So Shift D and then I'm duplicating them and positioning them to the back of my car. So now we're ready for your render. So what we can do before doing anything, I want my car to be a single object because my wheels, my headlight are all single object. So I will make my car one single object. So I'll press B to go in box selection mode. And then with left click, drag a, ma a box around all of your car. So with all of your parts selected, press Ctrl J. So here we have our car a single object. Now let's set the camera. Right click on your camera, or if you don't have any camera yet, fit, but, uh, what, do Shift A, add mesh camera. Okay? So what I'll do is Alt R to reset its position, and Alt G, uh, Alt, yeah, Alt G to uh, reset its position now, and then I'll do R X 90 degrees. Now I want to go in camera view to see how my camera is and uh, where it is and stuff like this. So you can press 0 on your numpad or going to view and then camera. Now I can position my car to, ma to make it the final render. So then I'll just rotate it and move it around, around to make my render looking great. So like this, I like it. So now let's set the background. As you can see, as you well as you saw in the render, it was like a sky. So we'll set this now. So click on this little world icon, which looks like a planet, and then click on the world section, pl click paper sky, and then black sky. Under the horizon color, change it to a blue color, or the color you want. And then on the zenith color, give it a white color, or another color. Now for the lighting, click environmental, uh, well, uh, environment lighting. Check this box. So now, what we will do is press F12 to make the render. Or you can go to this camera icon and click render. So here is rendering. This should take a couple of seconds. So here we go. Our render is done. What do you think about it? It's nice, isn't it? It's not extremely nice, but that's great. But that's a great thing if you're new to Blender and want to make some cool cars. So that's now to save your image, you can press F3 and save it to the directory you want. And if you want escape render, press escape. So that's it. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions or any requests on Blender tutorial, um, just hit me up in the comment. Thank you for watching. See you soon.